In our next example here, we're going to try and figure out what a third resonance frequency standing wave looks like in an open-ended pipe. Again, open-ended pipe means that you're going to have displacement antinodes on either side, which means maximum displacement of the air molecules, meaning zero pressure difference. Again, we had an antinode and an antinode and two notes in the middle for the second resonance. So for the third resonance, we're going to need three notes in the middle. So one over here, one over there, and one in the middle. And if we then connect those with what this will have to look like, we now have ourselves a third resonance situation. All right, how many wavelengths is that? Well, this is a full wavelength, that's a quarter, that's a quarter, that looks like a half a wavelength added to a full wavelength, or the length of the pipe is equal to 1.5 lambda, or lambda therefore is equal to the length of the, of the pipe divided by 1.5. Knowing that the velocity is equal to 340 meters per second, and we, now we know that the wavelength is equal to L over 1.5, and L is 0 0.85. 0 0.85 divided by 1.5 gives us the new wavelength required of that sound wave that gives us a resonance frequency like that. So 0.85 divided by 1.5 equals 0 0.567. 0 0.567 meters. And again, velocity is equal to frequency times wavelength, and frequency therefore is equal to velocity divided by the wavelength, and so the frequency of the third, um, or the third frequency, or the third resonance frequency, is equal to velocity divided by the wavelength of that particular situation, so we'll call that lambda sub 3, and this is equal to 340 meters per second divided by 0 0.567 meters. And if I'm not mistaken, sure enough, that would be equal to 600 hertz exactly. So that means that the third resonance frequency is three times the base resonance frequency. So frequency of the third resonance is equal to uh, three times the frequency of the base resonance or first resonance, three times F sub naught. And therefore, they call this the third overtone. And that's how you find the resonance frequency of a situation where we have the third resonance in an open-ended pipe.